Hello, um, my name is Lisa Robinson. I'm an artist and illustrator here in Rochester, New York. Um, my studio is at uh, Piano Works in East Rochester. I have been a working artist here in Rochester for over 30 years. I do architectural renderings, um, pet portraits, dog portraits, just regular fine art paintings, um, pen and ink, watercolor, oil paintings, pastels. I think one of the hardest things when all of the festivals got canceled last year, you know, particularly the Lilac Festival because that is one of my favorite events um, here in Rochester, is just the feeling that you, it's, it's out of your control. There's just, you, there's nothing out there that you can do to have fun. The whole notion of being able to go somewhere for a day where there's a crowd of people and there's music and there's food and art and I mean the art scene really really has struggled without having a lot of these festivals and these art fairs and the art shows. That's how quite a few people that um, that I know make their livelihood. It was a really nice compliment when I got an email from Lynn um, Springett asking me to do the Lilac Festival poster. I started with um, just some you know one with a vase and some really bright flowers and then I turned uh, into thinking about some more abstract sort of shapes of the lilacs and the colors. I mean, you can't go wrong with a lilac festival poster because it's beautiful purples and greens and pinks and yellows. So the colors are always great in all the posters. Um, so I started with just you know some very small, rough watercolor sketches. And we really kind of keyed in on the butterfly, thinking that that was a little bit different than what anybody else had done in the past and uh, just sort of a fun shape that everybody loves a butterfly. So I did the pencil sketch and then I transferred that onto the paper and then beginning began the painting process. And So I had done several of these butterflies that looked very similar to this on different backgrounds, thinking that maybe we might want a darker background. But then as we got more and more into this kind of gloom and doom that everybody was feeling, felt like the dark background really wasn't appropriate this year. So I wanted to put it on a lighter, more fun uh, color for the background. And that's how we ended up with this sky. This is actually the original right here. And I just, you know, painted the background on there. So, and then we finished with the, you know, the final poster that um, everybody sees and some nice uh, t-shirt designs as well. The butterfly itself to me sort of uh, lends a nod to the notion of hope and transformation, which is what we really all need right now after the year we've had. And I, I hope that when people look at it, they, they get that same feeling of just something that's hopeful, something that's pretty, and something that really showcases the lilacs and the beautiful flowers over at um, Highland Park. Probably one of my favorite parts of the Lilac Festival is, I mean, obviously just the park itself. It is such a gem here in Rochester to, to see, I mean, it starts early too. It starts in really April or early May before the lilacs come out with the, with the cherries and the dogwoods and the, the magnolias certainly. And just watching people wander through with their kids and their dogs and soaking in that beautiful, beautiful park that Frederick designed for us. And as far as the festival goes, I mean, I love the food and I love the, the music and just the art festival is always really wonderful. You find so many talented people that come and display their artwork. Um, and, and this year it's gonna be on three weekends, so it's not just the one weekend. I mean, what's not to like about the Lilac Festival?